Alright, so before we start this video, I just wanted to show you guys my new gaming headset, the Logitech G430s. Now, I've been using these for the past five days, and I've got to say, they're really cool. They're really awesome. I've been having a lot of fun with them. They're comfortable. They have a microphone. All the people in my like game chat that I was talking to, they said my audio was a lot better because originally I was just using the microphone from my laptop. So... If you guys are in the market for a nice little gaming headset, I highly recommend this because they only costed me $40 and I got them at Walmart. Now I will have a link in the description for a pair of these that you can find on Amazon. And again, they are only $40, so if you guys don't have a lot of money, these are a nice option for a nice budget pair that you guys could purchase. They have a nice long braided cord and... I, I think they're they're gonna last me a long good time and another thing that's really good about these you can actually remove these pads and clean them alright so enough about that headset today in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys one of the best game recorders for your laptop or desktop computer today in this video <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another awesome video. Now, have any of you guys out there ever wanted to record a game on your computer, on your desktop, your laptop, you know, whatever you have, and you just have not been able to find a good screen recorder? Everyone tells you to go and use OBS, or, you know, try Bandicam, and you go and try those programs, but they have so many little glitches and different, like, settings that you just have to... You know, you have to watch so many different tutorials on how to hook them up and figure it all out and make sure your computer can handle the program and, oh my god, I don't want to do any of that. You know, and I've gone through all of that and maybe if you're watching this video, you have too. You've watched so many different tutorials. What's the best screen recorder for recording games on your PC? What's this? What's that? Tell me the settings that I need and you're just struggling to find a good program that works properly, is simple to set up and it's just a no-brainer and you just cannot find one. Well today in this video, oh my god, I have the solution for you. And I made my screen blue here so you can kind of see it better, but here we go. There it is, FBX Game Recorder. I was scrolling through wow. the depths of Google. I was, you know, climbing over mountains. And just one lonely little night, I was like, what's this? And I click on it, download it, try it out, and oh my god, I was blown away with how simple and easy and fast it was to set up. And it just worked how I wanted it to. Alright, so I really think that FBX Game Recorder is a definite solution to a lot of your guys' problems. Now the main two screen recorders that I have tried to use for recording gameplay are Bandicam and OBS. Now with Bandicam, you know, it was it, it's pretty simple. You know, I just watched one little tutorial video how to hook it up and it wasn't that bad. Now once we get to OBS, that's a whole different story. There's so many different little settings and things that you have to set up correctly and half the time it just doesn't even work for you. Like, your computer seems to be handling it okay, but it just doesn't work. And you just can't figure it out. And it's just so annoying that this screen recorder that you've dedicated so much time into researching and figuring out, it just doesn't work for you. And one of the main problems that I've been having with these, you know, last two recorders that I've been using is I get it all set up correctly. I research about all the best settings and all that. And then once I get to the game and I'm ready to hit record, I hit record and the FPS of my game drops. You know, my FPS is at a nice 50 to 60 and it's going to be good to play with, you know, since it's that high nice FPS that everyone likes. But right when I hit that record button to record this nice gameplay, the FPS drops and the game becomes unplayable and it's just not enjoyable to try and record that because it's just not, it's just not, it's not good, okay? Like, okay, you're recording your gameplay, but you're playing at 30 FPS when you could be playing at a whopping 50 to 60 FPS, which is way better. And it just does not work. I mean, it just does not work for me when I want to record this, but it's just not recording in the quality that I want. Oh, and another quick thing, like with Bandicam, I would record the footage at 60 FPS. That's the settings I set it to. But once I go and check the properties of the footage that I recorded, it's recorded at 40 FPS, and I just don't get it. 
but I really think that FBX Game Recorder is the solution to everybody's problems. It's really simple, and I'm going to open this program, and we are going to take a look inside, and I'm going to show you all the different things and kind of how you can set it up pretty quickly. And um, I will have a link down below. The link to this website to get this awesome program will be down below. And I highly recommend checking it out. It's 100% safe and it is free. If you guys don't want to click my link down below, just just because you think that I'm I'm tricking you, you know, I'm, I'm going to fish you, get you onto another website or something, that's okay. Just go into Google and type FBX Game Recorder. It should be the first option. Click it and click the download button, download it to your computer. I'm pretty sure you might be even be able to use this on your Mac, but I don't know why you'd be gaming on your Mac. Just get a Windows computer and download it on there. And uh, in a moment here, we're just gonna open this program up and I will show you everything you need to know. So go down below, download the program, and let's begin. Now once you've downloaded this program, FBX Game Recorder, you're going to want to simply go to your desktop and find the icon, the one here that I've been showing you, and just simply click on it to open it. Now once this page opens, you're not going to see this right away. They're going to ask you to either make an account or simply sign in with Facebook. They want you to sign in for whatever reason, I don't know why, but they have you sign in to either Facebook or make an account. I simply just clicked sign in with Facebook, it went really smoothly and it just pops me onto this page. And I got on my way to recording my gameplay. So it's really, it's really simple and really easy, just sign in with Facebook if you're able to. Or if you really want to, just make an account. Now once you get to this page, you have the Start tab, Recordings tab, Settings tab, and Support tab. Now you don't really have to go to the Support tab, but if you want to check it out, go ahead. Now back at the start tab, you will see this how to record box and it says 1. Switch to a game and find this overlay. I actually have this overlay set to the bottom right and this will indicate that your program is on and ready to, you know, get recording. So number 2 is F8 to start recording. So you would click F8 and it will start recording. You will see this in place of this and there's a couple more options you can set up. I will show you that in a moment, but this indicates that you are currently recording it shows your duration and that you're recording and then when you want to stop your recording just hit F8 again moving on to the recordings tab once you're done recording your footage you'll see your footage and all your files right here and it'll have a little date of what you know what the date was that you recorded it and you can either edit your video export it you know put it up onto YouTube but I simply just you know use this tab to check back onto my footage maybe look at it like for example, I have some PUBG Mobile and it turned out pretty good. So I don't really do too much in this tab, but just look at my footage after recording it. I actually go into the files down below in there and go find my footage, throw it onto the editor, and then I go on from there. Moving on to the settings tab, you have video, audio, webcam, hotkeys, overlay, and then you have web games, options, and markers. But the ones that you're going to want to focus on are these five right here. Now just go back up to the video tab. Now as you guys can see, there's not a lot of settings here, right? So it makes it really simple to use. Now encoder, I have a GTX 1060 graphics card in my laptop and it gives me the option to use this. Now I'm not no computer wizard, I don't know a whole lot about all these specs and settings, but I know that my graphics card is pretty good and that's the option that it's giving me. You know, actually when I started this program, this was the first setting that popped up, so I just kind of left it there. If you know which one is the best for your laptop, you can do a software encoder or a hardware encoder. Better performance than the software, so I would recommend using the hardware encoder. So if you have a nice graphics card, I would just recommend using that, and that's what I did for that. Now on FPS, everyone should know that 60 FPS is the highest, well it's not the highest FPS that you can go, but it's the... It's the highest that's the best because like everyone's not going to be doing 144 FPS for their videos. The minimum that's usually used for YouTube is 60. Now on quality, you're going to want to see is your laptop good? Is your laptop bad? Just kind of mess around with these settings. I don't know a whole lot about them, but this is the quality that the recorder is going to record your video at. So I have a decent little gaming laptop here, the MSI GE72 VR Apache Pro with a GTX 1060 and Core i7. 
so I decided to put it at max. Now for resolution, you're probably wondering, why aren't you doing 1080p at 60fps? Well recently I decided that I'm going to do all my gaming videos at 720p 60fps to cut down on rendering time after I'm done editing, if that makes any sense. It should because you're trying to figure out how to record your gameplay so that you could edit it. So you should all know about rendering. So that's pretty much it for the video tab. You guys can mess around with these settings and figure out what works for you. But these are my settings that I normally use for my computer. Moving on to the audio tab. They only give you two options, microphone and desktop. Now I don't use the microphone option on the program. I like to record my voice on a separate program. That way I have two separate files. One with my game audio and one with my voice audio. And then I can either lower my voice, raise my voice, lower my game audio, or raise my game audio. And it gives me two separate files to be able to do that. And I can, you know, balance them out so it sounds nice. So I mostly just use this program to record my gameplay. And then I do everything else separate. So this program for me is just to record the gameplay. Now to properly record your game sounds, the audio that's coming from the game, you're going to want to either click game sound only or system sounds. Now if you click system sounds, it's going to record your PC sounds and pretty much anything else like your Discord chat, for example, because that's what it says right here. It's going to record your PC sounds and your Discord chat. Now it has a little drop down box because wherever the audio is coming from, like your game or your Discord chat, you're going to want to click that. So these are the speakers to my laptop. Whenever I play a game, my speakers from my laptop are going to be playing that audio from the game. So by having this checked just like this, it's going to record that audio coming from those speakers. Now if you only want the game sound only, you're going to want to click this. And it's only going to record that game sound. And you can change the like how loud you want it right here. So it's really not that hard. It's, it's pretty much straightforward click the speakers that are playing the the sound and it records them moving on to the webcam tab this is only if you want to like record your webcam like on this program like I said I use separate programs for my audio my webcam and then in my editor I can put it all together nicely now if you want to do everything right on this program you can they give you the option click record webcam select the webcam that you would like to record with and go on from there. Moving on to the hotkeys tab, you got start and stop recording. I don't really look at any of the others, I just have my start and stop recording button set to F8. So when I want to start my recording, I hit F8, and when I want to stop it, I hit F8. And then if you want to pause and resume recording, you can set all these different uh, things to different buttons that you would like and just mess around with them. Like you can save clips, you can save screenshots, you can add markers, mute the microphone different things like that but like I said I only use the stop and start recording button and mine is set to F8. Now the next tab is overlay and that's what I was talking about earlier in the start tab. Right when you open your game after opening the program you'll have this in the bottom right. And now it's in the bottom right because I set it to the bottom right. You can actually set it to any of these spots on your screen but I feel like the bottom right is a nice little out of the way spot for it. Now after you're done recording your footage you will not see any of this. It will not be a watermark in your video. There's no watermarks and that's why I love this program. This is only to indicate that you were recording. Now you have a couple more options here. You can show the shortcut reminder. So this shows what key you have set to your start and stop recording button. And like I said, I have mine set to F8. So I ha if I have this checked, it's going to tell me stop is F8 and start is F8. But I like to have that checked off. And you can even show the FPS that the recorder is recording at as well. All right, so you guys can set this, you know, this icon to wherever you'd like. Top right, top left, bottom left. But I like to keep mine in the bottom right. You can check any of these settings, you know, your FPS, your shortcut reminder. You can even hide the overlay. If you know that you're confident that once you hit the F8 key, it's going to record, go ahead. But I like to keep that on so that I know that it's recording and I know if it's not recording. Another small thing that I like about this program, after you've set all your settings up, 
you don't have to have this box open anymore. You can simply just hit the X button, and when you go back into your game, you see this icon wherever you set it to. In this case, I have mine set to the bottom right, so I will see this icon at the bottom right, even after exiting out of this program, and all I have to do is hit F8 to start recording, and when I'm done recording, just hit F8. And then bam, you throw it into your editor, you throw your webcam footage, your audio for your voice, and then you got a nice little video there with nice, crisp, 1080p, 60fps gameplay or whatever you have it set to. So I've got to say, this is the best program that I've ever stumbled upon. It's free. There's no, there's no, there's no tricks to it. You just download it and start using it pretty much. It's really that simple, and I'm happy to be showing this to you guys because there's a lot of you guys out there wanting to make nice, crisp, quality gameplay for your YouTube channels, but all you've got to work with is OBS or Bandicam. But I'm here to show you this really awesome program that I found, and it's called FBX Game Recorder, and I really think you guys are going to like it. So definitely go down below. I have the link to the website to where you guys can download this awesome program. I just showed you how to use it. Maybe scroll back take a look at all the settings and different things that I set up and talked about and there you guys go. I hope that you guys will go down below and download it and try it out because it's 100% safe, it's free, there's no tricks to it and I'm just so happy that I found this. So definitely go down below if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys are happy that I'm here today showing you this, definitely go down below, like the video, comment and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Now I've probably blabbed on enough, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, yeah, this has been Tyler Putnam 2.0, and I'm going to go record some gameplay. Yeah, because you guys definitely like to see me play games, right? Well, I would hope so. So, yeah, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!